Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Today I thought we'd do another online window shop with me. This is a series I started a little bit ago, so I have two other ones, I'll leave a link down below, but this is where we go online and we shop together online. It's very voyeuristic. We're just hanging out, having a fun time. And I think at this point in life, <laughs> hypothetical shopping and makeup is definitely where I'm at. Like I'm not necessarily trying to buy a bunch of stuff that's makeup related at the moment, not my biggest priority, but I for sure love makeup <laughs> and it's still fun to pretend and shop around. And so that's what we do in these videos. Today we're going to be going to Ulta. And for this video, I got the idea from some of you guys in the comments, but I wanted to pick out a full face of makeup from Ulta, but my budget is $100 in this hypothetical situation. So we're gonna be browsing the Ulta website. I'm gonna try to get a full face of makeup. We'll see what I can do with $100. We haven't shopped on Ulta yet. We've done Sephora and we've shopped on ColourPop. And really the whole thing with this is that we're gonna shop around, have fun, live a fantasy, you know, shopping experience. And at the end, we always click out of the cart. We don't buy this stuff. And if you have problems spending and this will trigger you into spending, please please don't watch this. <laughs> That's not what this is supposed to do. This is supposed to kind of get it out of your system, have a little fantasy fun, window shopping, but online and doing it together like friends would do. And I think now more than ever, since we really can't shop in stores right now <laughs> and do this, um, this is a way that we can have that window shopping experience, but online and in a semi-communal way. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know where you guys wanna shop next. I'm gonna try to do these weekly. So let me know what you're interested in seeing. And that is everything. Let's get into the shopping. All right. Hello, guys. I am here. I am in no makeup. It is Sunday, and I don't want to put makeup on, so I look starkly different from the intro. Anyway, today we're going to be on Ulta's website. We're going to be window shopping, taking a look at all the stuff. It's kind of crazy because I started this series um, before, obviously, all this stuff was happening, and now window shopping is like the way we can only go, go shopping, at least here in LA. So um, yeah, or online, I guess, you know. But even that, there are some places that are even closed online. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, today's kind of restrictions, if you will, I've been kind of putting mini challenges on these shop with me's. I'm gonna be going on to Ulta, and I have $100 to spend hypothetically, obviously. <laughs> I'm not actually buying anything. I'll talk more about this type of stuff in other videos, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like kind of go on a no buy. Yeah, we'll see. I just, makeup doesn't feel super important to buy, so hypothetical talk about makeup on my channel is gonna be more important than ever. <laughs> I have $100 to spend, that's my budget. The real question is, $100 before or after uh, shipping slash tax, right? Uh, do you guys get like that where you're like, well, it's like $100, but you know, then with tax and shipping, it's a little more, or is it like $100 total including those things? That's what we'll have to see as we go. And I'd like to pick out basically a full face. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just make it more fun than that. I just, I don't wanna get too stressed out about fake shopping right now, okay? I can't handle the stress. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to check it out. Um, I definitely want to stick to more of the budget side of Ulta, more drugstore stuff, and also because they have some really great options, and I love that. So let's go to the makeup section. I think I've found a pretty good spot for me um, in terms of where I am in this video on the screen. So I'll try to stay in tune with that and whatnot. So let's look first. I don't know. I wish you could just do it by... Let's go to new. I always do new arrivals. That's like my favorite thing to do. So we'll go to new arrivals, and then I like to just sort out the makeup because, like, I don't care if they got a new tweezer in, you know? Like, who cares? Let's see. Some Tarte stuff. I saw that release on uh, Sephora as well. Lid poppers, glitter, and adhesive. Ugh. No, it's probably not biodegradable. Ooh, Iconic London Sheer Blush. I'm going to make myself tiny, a tiny bit smaller. This is a sheer blush. It looks like there's only one color, a pale pastel pink. All right, interesting. Wish there was more. Should we watch these videos? Did you guys like that last time? Let's see what they have to say. Oh my God. Okay, I had to stop it. <laughs> Do you guys sometimes feel like, like for me, that ad just does not match 
what's going on. A sheer cream blush is not like club music, like hardcore, te I don't even know, techno, what is that? I don't know. Oh my god, too intense. The whole point is that it's sheer, it's literally not an intense blush. Doesn't make sense to me, doesn't make sense. Anyway, not getting that for 26. I'm always so shocked by Iconic London's prices. I don't know why I think of them as drugstore because they are not. <laughs> they definitely are not. I have to say really fast though, this little uh, set is so cute, like the surfboard motif. It's pretty cute, I think. Anyway, I just thought I'd say that. All right, let's keep going. Can we find some drugstore stuff, people? CoverGirl Loose Powder is new. It looks like it's been around for seven years. Oh my god, Samantha March's stuff. How cool. It's on Ulta's website. How crazy is that? Oh, I'm so proud of her. I will be doing a video on Ofra's channel soon. So again, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll be using those products as well. And I might have a giveaway coming soon because I'm lucky enough to have gotten sent actually two sets of those products on accident just with how everything was going on. Um, so I'll probably do a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I am going to do a giveaway. Anyway, keeping on, keeping on. Look how cute this little compact mirror is. The little cherry one, I like that. Sweet and Shimmer. Wait, what is Sweet and Shimmer? What brand is this? I am, like, not actually shopping. I'm literally just browsing right now. Oh my gosh, Coconut Banana Shower Gel. Hmm, it looks like a very young, like it's for a very young demographic since it's, there's also a coconut banana shimmer body mist. Not really my thing. Oh, I would have loved this stuff as a kid though. It looks like Claire's type of makeup. Oh my gosh, watermelon hair clips. How cute. I think that is adorable. I love that. Really love it. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I've been trying to get into the hair clip thing. But seriously, guys, it is rough. Every time I do it, it just looks like my hair is pasted down to my head. It's so awkward. I really hate that about it. Okay, Persona. I have been wanting to try the blushes, but $22 isn't that bad. Oh, my God. I'm so happy they're out of stock. That means that people bought them. I think that's so great. Okay, well, I can't add them to my cart. <sighs> I need to focus. I really need to focus. Ooh, are these the new spring collection from Lime Crime? That's pretty good. 16 bucks. Do you guys remember when all the Lime Crime stuff, like, had the pans that were all, like, <laughs> rusting and people were freaking out? Not saying they shouldn't have. They should have. But I wonder. I hope that that problem's fixed with these. <laughs> um, I think the colors are, they're kind of weird. I mean, I get that it's a spring launch or summer launch. Majestic's really beautiful. I also really do, like, Midsummer and Lily Pad. Hmm. They're only, I mean, only, they're a single shadow. $16 is still a lot. But look at these one shadow looks. They all look great. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried a one shadow look, you guys should. They're so easy. And it's really easy to make a color that seems kind of dramatic work. So I suggest trying it out. Oh, I've been seeing Angelica's videos with these. The mini avocado. Oh my god, $9. Okay, we're going to get the tasty mini avocado palette. How fun! I'm going to add that to my bag. $9. We've already spent $9 of our $100. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, the sugar pill palette. This is like the one thing really tempting me. Again, I'm kind of trying to go on a no-buy though. I just, with everything being so uncertain, it just feels a little like, you know, makeup is not, not number one, unfortunately. I also think these pure little compacts, I kind of want to try one. Like that's how interested I actually am in them. I think they look really beautiful. The quality looks nice in all these swatches. If you have tried any of those, let us know. Let us know how you like them. We have these Milani eye toppers. Ooh. There's a peach one, Pinkaroo, and a Lollapalooza. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, I think, well, $10.99, that's more than the eyeshadow palette. Okay, no. <laughs> what else? We, I wish you could do it by something else. Okay, what we're going to do, I need to get serious because this can take forever if I don't. So let's go to, I'm sure some of you guys wouldn't mind that, but you know, <laughs> I should actually try. So let's go to foundations and I'm going to put them in order um, lowest to highest. So that way 
we can see the actual drugstore brands, hopefully. There's the Revlon Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. What is up with that? What does that even mean? <laughs> Anti-pollution? Okay. I don't know. None of these look that amazing to me. I have tried the Ulta brand. Um, I have this stick foundation, but I have it in too light of a shade, so that sucks. The Makeup Revolution stick foundation is really good. I actually have it. Oh, do you guys remember all the flesh, like the drama with the flesh beauty? I actually would love to try out flesh beauty. So they're only $9. They're on sale. I might pick one up <laughs> in this very, very fake thing. Um, I think I'm going to get, oh, what color to get though? Light, warm yellow undertones. What I would normally get is sugar, which is a fair warm peach undertones, but they won't let me. It's out of stock. Very fair, warm undertones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or I can get fair with cool pink undertones. I'm just really, I know you think I'm, I'm more cool maybe, but I really am not. I'm really not. Um, we'll just add this. This will be my foundation I'm trying out. Man, they really are trying to get you. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a lip color. Wow, I wonder if it's just doing so poorly that they just have to put everything on sale because no one's buying it. It was a weird launch. What do you guys think of Flush? Have you wanted to try it since the initial reviews or anything? All right, so we have a foundation. I mean, I'm barely going to be able to get anything, honestly, guys. I definitely want some type of concealer um, if I were doing a full face, so let's just check that out. I've been wanting to try like a nice cheap concealer. I think the Wet n Wild Illuminati is pretty good. Um, I remember trying that and liking it. I think this one seems like something I'd like too, the Fast Base Concealer. Oh, the shade range though. Like this is the type of shade range that I'm just like, hi, <laughs> what's happening here? Like literally two dark shades and the next lightest is this, is light medium. That's what, that's when I'm like, okay, not even trying. Oh, Maybelline Fit Me. That used to be one I loved. Maybe I'll do this. I'll get the fair one. It's a weird icon for fair, but okay. Um, we'll add that. So I have a foundation, a concealer. That's nice. I did put in, what did I put in? Oh, a little eyeshadow palette. That's cute. I mean, I don't have to do it that way. Let's look at highlighters. That always makes me happy. I love a good highlighter, and I definitely want to check out some low-priced highlighters. I feel like everything in my collection I was going through, um, I filmed some of the <laughs> game shows with the boys. I filmed two of those episodes so far, and when I was doing one of them, I realized like so much of my makeup really is um, expensive. <laughs> it's kind of expensive, <laughs> so I would love to try out some more inexpensive stuff. I have all the Wet n Wilds. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't really love the Wet n Wilds, honestly. I mean, I think they're fine, but I think I just have really good high-end ones that I would never choose the Wet n Wild over. Tell me some of your more inexpensive highlighters you do suggest in the comments. I'd love to know. This Catrice one looks really pretty. I wish they had it on a model so I could see because it looks like it's called Amber Crystal and I think it might be too dark for me. I might just change everything and just buy the things I want off of Ulta because, um, you know, obviously fake for this video. <laughs> just have to reiterate. Um, just because, I don't know, I just don't really feel like picking out a full face. I feel like buying the things that are going to make me happy, regardless of if they'd create a full face or not, honestly. That's what I feel like. <laughs> like, I want to look at KKW Beauty. I want to look at Kylie. Like, things I maybe wouldn't normally buy, but I know are on Ulta. That's something that kind of excites me. I don't know. <laughs> I just need that right now. I'm just going to keep looking at highlighters. Though. Ooh, this Flush Beauty one. I don't know why Flush Beauty is intriguing to me. Sparkling Champagne looks nice. 
again, I wish they had a picture of it on someone or at least a swatch or something. Um, just to like get an idea of like texture, to get an idea of like opacity, potentially tone. Oh, wow. Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer Highlighting Duo. Oh, out of stock. I would have totally added that to my cart. Um, BH Cosmetics has some stuff. The Kiko Heart Blushes are here. Have you guys tried these heroin, heroin? Uh, I'm trying to make it not sound like heroin the drug. Um, highlighters. This looks really beautiful. I had a highlighter from Juvia's Place, one of the loose ones, and I bought a shade that was too dark. <laughs> and so I actually gave it away to a friend and she loves it. So it was perfect, but it was not good for me. This is really pretty. I love this. I wonder if it's too dark for me. It looks like it'd be right on the cusp, at least in the picture. Again, why a, a swatch or something would be really, really helpful. I'd love to know how you guys are doing. I know we're just kind of hanging out right now and whatnot. Oh my god, I want a highlighter so bad. I've been really wanting to test out Kylie's makeup. Don't judge me. I see you judging me already. Stop. <laughs> I do. I, I want to try a couple things out. I think that first one, ooh, Queen Drip. That one's pretty. Again, we don't have any. It says it's a peachy gold. I kind of like that. Um... Ice Me Out is pretty, but I think Cheers Darling is that kind of, it says light champagne gold, but it looks almost like a peachy undertone, like more again like my skin. I'm going to add that to my bag. That's something I'd want to try out. Here we go. We're getting into like actually something exciting for me. I also would love to try out a blush. I wish there was a set though or something. I'm not really, oh my gosh, do you remember when this was so popular? I think I made a video duping this palette out. <laughs> it's so funny to me thinking of this blue honey palette and like how everyone was like, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. And it's not like ugly, but I just remember it being such a thing and I just don't feel like that anymore about any of it. It's very interesting how fast things go. <laughs> um, let's see what the blush is. This is Kitten Baby. Then we have Batty on the Block, a mid-tone clean pink. Um, close to perfect, a dusty peach. That one looks really beautiful. I don't know. I'm not feeling any of the blushes, actually. Just that highlighter, so that's good. Let's go to KKW. Because I actually, a couple of you guys in my video where I talked about makeup that is, like, cool-toned, had suggested some of the KKW um, eyeshadow palettes and I was like you're right hello like look look at this this is really beautiful if we can get it up look how pretty this is it's a lot of mattes though there's only one shimmer that's like my issue with it the smoky volume one I love how tiny it is I just wish it was like all shimmer and I probably would have added that to my cart Oh, they don't have everything from them. There's the Classic Blossom, the Classic Palette, and then the So Fire, which is on sale right now. Eh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any of that stuff. Oh my gosh, remember these guys? The little pinky highlight and contour sets. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we're living all the drama when things were a simpler time. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Well, let's look at let's go to shop by brand. See if there's a brand maybe that sticks out. Um <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, there's so many. I don't know, guys. These are the featured ones. I wonder if they pay to be up here. Um NYX, Estee Lauder. Oh, let's look up Essence. Essence is such a cheap brand. I love that. And I really, what? Okay, let me go to a mascara and then click this. And then you have to click like, I only want to shop the brand, I promise. Usually. Actually, today you don't because I said that. <sighs> okay, everyone loves the Princess Lash. And everyone has the color tube that they love the most. So we're going to... Oh, we got some deals going on. I'm going to add the green one. I think I hear people like the green one. I'm going to add the green one to my basket. And that's on a buy one, get one. Hell yeah. 
So we'll definitely try to find something else we like. I'd love to try the brow mascara. Should I add that? It's only $2.99 though. Uh, we'll add it. Maybe we'll get four things. Uh, what else? The Pure Nude Highlighter. I have that, but I think it's in my makeup kit, which I think I'm going to do a video about my makeup kit and kind of disbanding it soon. I know that sounds weird, but we'll get into it. We'll talk about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. So maybe <laughs> I'll get that out again and start using it. <laughs> There's, oh, this is a really colorful palette. 10 bucks crystal iced eyeshadow palette huh I don't know why I just don't trust the pigmentation I don't know I feel like everything with them they do like a nice um, metallic shadow really well but I don't trust these like bright colorful shades for some reason I don't know what it is if I'm wrong let me know I think this is a really pretty palette Good day, Sydney. Oh, wow. It's like you say it with an accent. Love it. It kind of looks like that Laura Mercier palette that came out, like, for holiday, I think. What else? Oh, my God. There's so many pages. Not as exciting as I expected it to be. Okay. Let's just look at eyeshadow. That makes everything better, too. We'll go from low to high, and we're just going to scroll it up. We're going to scroll, scroll, scroll. That sounded, scroll was so hard to say so many times in a row. Oh my gosh, these e.l.f. palettes. I'm going to add all of them. <laughs> oh, out of stock. Okay. Okay. Oh, out of stock. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all out of stock. <laughs> Seriously? Wow, everyone just loves them. I've heard just so many great things. Well, wow, that's cool. I mean, again, cool that it's out of stock for other people and they bought them and whatever, but, like, suck for me right now. What else do we have here? Ooh, Lottie London Foil Iridescent Duochrome Eye Topper. Hi. I think that this is basically my name. Look. 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 That is me in a shadow. Okay, Denied. It seems like my top pick. It is. We're definitely adding this to the bag, $5.95. I think I can afford it. Let's see. We're at $56. Oh my gosh, we're just a little over halfway. We got some money to spend. We're going to keep going. I should see what ColourPop products are on here. And that's still with like all the foundations and stuff. Like I can always, you know, get rid of that. I know that Alme is like Seriously, it just kind of sucks. But this Ambition Quad looks pretty. Let's see if they have something cool toned. The World is My Oyster. That looks kind of nice. Just like, uh, the, okay, I know. It looks boring and like not nice. But <laughs> I think as like a one shadow look, it could just be an easy wash of color. Like I'm tempted for seven bucks. I mean, I'd love to get it like half off somehow. Okay, okay, well, I don't I'm going to add it. I'm going to be a rebel and add Alme. Of all the makeup brands to buy, Alme? Oh, who am I? What's happening to the world? Seriously. Ooh, Holika Holika. I didn't know they had that brand. Okay, Foil Shock Shadows. This is Smoked Cranberry. Really pretty. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Dusty Walnut. Look, I'm going to try one of these. For $8, that's pretty good. Awesome Peach is a really nice, like, lid shade. We have burnt cherry, smoked cherry, dusty, whoa. dusty cherry. Dusty cherry doesn't look like what you'd expect it to look like. I'm going to get dusty walnut. I think that one's nice. Add it to the bag. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I'm going to look at all the Holika Holika stuff. That's exciting. Um, Okay. Jelly Dough Blusher. Hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. 12 bucks. Let's see. Ooh, this one. That one looks nice. And it looks like the one Hannah would pick too because it's kind of brown. I'm going to add it to my bag. This is Nuts Jelly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a hilarious name to me. Nuts Jelly. All right. I'm keeping. Oh, they have the cute little heart. Oh, that's so cute. 
What else? All right, I don't need any of the other crap. Um, let's just, I'm gonna back it up, like back, back, back it up. Here we go, we're back to where we were before we went on the whole holica holica thing. Anything else that I just have to have? Did you guys pick up any of these L'Oreal chromatic bronze pigments? I know there's a couple different colors. I just remember people being so excited for these. I want to always get into pigments, and I have my Lumi pigment from Sugar Pill. I love that thing, but pigments in general are kind of tough to use and to remember to use and just everything around that. Also, I thought I'd mention, because I just saw this, the Dose of Colors Single Shadows. I have one of these in like a purple shade. I think it is my jam. I was not impressed. I was really not impressed. I don't know if I just got an unimpressive shade, you know? But I got it through BoxyCharm, so I'm glad about that. But geez, I was, I thought it would just be so much more sparkly. And I also thought it'd be like the shadows that are in Desi and Katie palette, but it was not. No, it was not. All right, keeping on, keeping on. I don't know. What are you guys into with eyeshadow? I mean, for me, I've really, I think I'm going to be shopping my stash a lot. Obviously, you guys know I love those Cleona shadows, like, so much, seriously. <laughs> They're everything I could ever ask for, um, and I'm trying to, like, ooh, this cover girl. This looks nice. I really like this kind of cool-toned cover girl palette, and what I like about it is that it's not just, like, blacks and grays for cool tones. That's kind of nice. It's just called... They don't say, oh, nudes. It's the nudes one. That's kind of nice. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, you want to know a palette that really tempted me initially? Just from seeing swatches on Trend Mood was the Artist Couture. I don't know why. I really wanted to try that one. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I went to the website and it looked a lot different in person than it did swatched out so I'm like it's one of those ones that's like color shifting not in a good way as in like it's too chromatic but in like in different lighting I can't tell is it good or is it bad is it gonna work for me is it not and so it's one that I just am like now not today it's not worth it it's not worth buying it and it not working out um okay okay let's see what kind of like lip products I know I don't love the most lip products, but, or maybe even bronzers. We can pretend we're going to go out um, for summer. We can just pretend with bronzer, right? Let's do that. Low to high. We'll start and see if there's anything that sticks out to me. I have this Wet n Wild bronzer, and it's okay. It's kind of sparkly. I don't hate it. I don't, like, absolutely love it and adore it like I want to. This Milani one looks decent. But I do, I don't know. I like something with not so matte. Ooh, excuse me. I want this, but I can't get it. It's sold out. It's only $15. That's why I want it. <laughs> this Flower Beauty Bronzing Essence, I wonder how that is. If you've tried it, let me know. There are some Kylie bronzers. I did see these. I was like, I don't know. Khaki is a golden bronze. We have tequila tan. Toasty. Um, I mean, I feel like this one should just be the one for me, so we'll just add it. Why not? Why not? That'll be the bronzer I get. Let's look at some lips, and then we'll... Uh, We'll probably end it there. I mean, what else can I possibly get? Lip glosses. Yeah, let's look at glosses, then we'll look at balms. You know me. I can't not. <laughs> um, again, low to high. I'm trying to keep it cheap. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get the most for my money. Um, ooh, okay. These I've been wanting to, like, retry again. The NYX butter glosses. So I think I'm going to add some of these. Tiramisu, that looks nice, but so does that one. This isn't too light. Oh my gosh, no. Praline, that looks nice too. <gasps> Tiramisu, 
praline or what's this one? Madeline. Madeline? Mad I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get praline. I'm going to go for it because they're pretty sheer if I remember correctly. So even though it's a little bit deeper, I think it will add more like depth and color without being maybe too pinky like tiramisu might pull. I don't know. I'm going to go with that one. Ooh, sheer lip. Oh, you got me at sheer lip. <laughs> Makeup revolution. Oh, look at this color selection. Very nice. Misbehaving, hustle, lots of really nice, like, different tones of brownie, pinky nudes. I love that. I think chauffeur looks nice. I wish. I'm just going to add it. Fuck it. I mean, that's all the lip glosses I need for right now. Jeez. Come on, girl. <laughs> These Sugar Rush glosses, they do got me looking at them, checking them out a little. All right, let's look at treatments and just see where we're at. You know what I should add? Instead of the Makeup Revolution, I should add the Juvia's Place foundation stick. That's one I've been wanting to try for a while, so I should add that. This, I want to try the Too Faced Pillow Balm. I also have been wanting to try the NARS Afterglow. Man, I do get just more excited about high-end stuff. Is I wonder if it's because that's mostly what's being shown online. Like, if I had seen a lot of this stuff from all these other brands on Trend Mood, let's say, I wonder if I'd be more excited for them. Pacifica Cucumber Mint Lip Balm for $2.50. I don't think I can't not. Gotta add it. Gotta add it to the bag. I love a chapstick. Seriously. Sun Balm. I also want to try this. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think there's a coconut one, but I added, I think this is the mint, I think. I don't know. It just looks so pretty. I added it immediately. What else? Wet and Wild. This is kind of a cute little packaging. I love these little Revlon Kiss Balms in the coconut. I've used a whole one of those up. That's pretty good. It's not like the most moisturizing, but it's a nice like everyday one. I really enjoyed it. I'm trying to use up the peach one. Um, what else? Whoa, what is this skull? Kind of scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, weird. That's weird looking. I don't like that. I do not like it. No, thank you. Sorry. What else? Oh, Milani. Yeah, these look nice. They kind of remind me of Nicole Guerrero. You know how she used to have the Best Damn Beauty lip mask? And, like, remember when the Dior, like, rose lip balm and that little, like, tube? And that little, like, what is it? It's not a tube. It's like a pot in a pot. Yeah, <laughs> that was, like, the most popular thing. I bought that thing. I know. Um, when that was really popular, this like reminds me of that, but it's like the drugstore version. I'm not going to add it to my cart because $10, like I can't afford it right now. Not with this budget, baby. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I think I, I found the ones I like. I'm not like needing these. Plus, it's just getting more and more pricey. Like this, okay, Florence by Mills, I haven't really talked much about the whole thing, but $14 for a lip oil, that's not, like, who is this for? I think that it's like the price point should have been cheaper or it should have been more expensive and more luxury so that a higher, a higher age group would actually want it, I feel like. But it's not. It's crazy. I didn't know Nest had lip balms or anything other than candles so that's kind of cool this is the grapefruit and verbena that's nice mm, I would if I was you know actually shopping that would be something intriguing to me for sure okay let's check out oh my gosh I'm at 119 okay let me go get the juvia's place found shade stick foundation I'm gonna add this to my list let's see all the colors Tokyo, too light, very light with a neutral undertone. I don't, mm, I think I would get Nicarag Nicaragua. I think that would be mine. Light skin with neutral or Luxor. I don't know. These say light skin with neutral warm undertone. Light skin with neutral undertone. Light skin with neutral cool undertone. Oh. 
Light skin with warm golden undertone. Maybe I'll get Lima. I'm going to add that. All right, so now I'm going to go to my cart, and I'm going to obviously cut it down. Also, I have my dancing coin guy who might save me some money. Save me money, girl. Save me money. I'm dancing with him. Oh, I have to actually have him apply it. Hold up. Not sponsored. I should get them to sponsor these videos, but <laughs> this one is not. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a hot mess. I just tried not to look at myself at all, so I'm sorry, guys. Hope you weren't looking at me too much. Look at the screen. <laughs> Everything's excluded from a coupon. Great. So what I'm going to remove, I'm going to keep this. Oh, I didn't get that. I do want to still try that. Let's remove the Maybelline Fit Me. Okay. I have free shipping and tax isn't even calculated in this. So, gosh. Okay. Um, I, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of the Alme. Who needs it? It's not that exciting. I'm also going to get rid of the bronzer. I don't really need that. And then if I get rid of this lip balm. I did it. 99.94. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what's in my cart and why I'm picking it. These little mini I Heart Revolution, I just think it's cute. I think it's cute. I like that it's colorful. I could see myself being inspired by it. It's a mini palette, but with a lot of shades. It's like everything that I keep asking brands to come out with. So, yes. Mm -hmm. I want to try this flesh, <laughs> the Firm Flesh Thick stick foundation. Ugh. Yes, I know. Disgusting name. Um, this I want to try and it's half off so I feel like it's a good deal to try it and I've been wanting to. As much as I might hate the name, it does seem like a product that I'd really like to try and see how I get on with. This highlighter, I've been wanting to try it for a long time so it's just like why not? The world's ending. Let's get it. Um, and then <laughs> the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's like a really um, use, useful product. You know, mascara is something that I tend to go through, actually. And I've heard so many great reviews, so that's why I want to do it. Same with this Essence Make Me Brow. One, there's like a deal going on, buy one, get one, so I'm like saving money. But I love using these types of little brow, eyebrow, uh, mascaras and I know this one's so affordable I've heard a lot of people talk about it as well as like a dupe for the benefit one so I would want to try that one out oh I should move myself over here okay wait sorry guys sorry here we go Lottie London the eye foil iridescent duochrome eye topper one it's under six bucks which I think is great and denied is this beautiful color I love the shift it says it's purple blue and pink love it. I think it'd be cool probably sheared out as one thing or over top other things. I love it. You guys know. Holika Holika, another brand that I would love to try some stuff from. This foil shock shadow, I just think looks pretty. It really does look beautiful. So I'm going to give it a go in Dusty Walnut, see how I like it. And then the Holika Holika blush. I think it's just a beautiful blush. I like the packaging. It's simple. I think the price point of Holika Holika is like exactly what I want. Not too expensive, but it's not like dirt cheap and you can tell that the packaging, it just has more style to it. I don't know. I like it. It's obviously intriguing. The NYX uh, Butter Gloss in Praline. So excited. I would love to try that. I don't need this other lip gloss for Makeup Revolution. If I had to pick between the two, I would just pick the NYX, but it's kind of cool to try something that's maybe similar to the NYX one that I haven't tried before and see which one I'd like better. And then, of course, I'd love to try a lip balm, so that's why that's in here. Oh, and another stick foundation, the Juvia's Place. Man, your money really can go so much further with, you know, cheaper end brands than just with the high-end stuff at Sephora. In my cart right now, I have, let's count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items. 12 items, which means I'm paying on average, should I bring up my little, oh, you can't see it. Okay, 12, 99.94 <laughs> divided by 12 is $8.33 rounded up um, average per item, which I don't think is too bad. You just can't get that average at Sephora. So anyway, um, that's what I would buy with $100 right now at Sephora. If I was given a gift card, I'd probably just pick this stuff out. I mean, granted, I didn't give myself a ton of time to really, really sift through, but if I were shopping with you, this is what I'd get. And I was ended now, this is what I would get. So um, anyway, let me click out of this, because at the end of the day, we're not actually buying any of it. So goodbye. 
Um, oh, wow. It's still all there. I really did get rid of it. Okay, I'll just move it down. And I'll make myself big. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, this is the issue with my baby hairs. Okay, anyway, guys, <laughs> I look kind of a mess. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you guys are um, staying safe, staying inside if you can. And if you are out there, thank you for your hard work. And, you know, I know things are kind of crazy, so I hope this was a little bit of fun. Um, I've definitely, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I even want to get into this right now, but it's just tough. It's tough to stay positive, but I'm doing my best. I hope you guys are too. It's just a really weird time, and I'm trying to cope in the best ways that I can by being as happy and cheerful and, and kind of jokey where I can. And so um, I hope that I can be that for you guys as well. Um, I will have my game show coming up. Probably I'm going to start the uploads on, I'm thinking Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I've already filmed two episodes, so <laughs> I hope those will be fun. Those are going to just be kind of <laughs> their own thing, kind of crazy. Um, but I hope it will be interesting. And uh, other than that, I think I'm going to end it here. Don't mind my crazy background. It's just a lot. Everything's a lot right now. My office is insane. <laughs> but um, I'd love to hear any recommendations for videos you guys would like, um, any recommendations for Shop With Me's. I think I'd like to go on to either like the e.l.f. website. I don't know. I was thinking something else, but maybe checking out one of those sites and sticking to like a brand specifically. That might be kind of fun instead of like Ulta or Sephora. But I'm always open to suggestions, so let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.